Well, hello. Another sunny afternoon in South Central Texas. And here we are in the garden where some things continue to do quite well into the beginning of September here. The Greek oregano does seem to be a little bushy in need of some trimming. And the lemon balm seems to be near the end of its season. I've got a lot of spinach to figure out what to do with. Maybe make some more pesto. I added some cabbage and cilantro for the fall planting. We'll see how that goes. Again, there's another tomato plant come back to life. So let's see, what are we doing here today? Well, we're seeing that those tomato plants my son gave me some months ago are experiencing a resurgence. They've come to flower again and they're looking pretty green. Some of you may have seen a box of Q-tips on the table during my last herb gardening video. This one right here. That's because my friend Sarah tells me that her mom has a little trick where she speeds along the pollination process and actually gets more fruit in this manner. Let's see. I have not done this before, so this is quite the experiment right here. Let's see. Just how... Let's see if I can share the pollen wealth here. Now, these flowers look like they're still in the process of opening. But let's see. It doesn't hurt to try. And Miss Sarah, after seeing this video, if you have any other suggestions for me, I'm more than open. Let's see about this plant here. Oh, yeah. We've got some stuff happening here, too. Okay, let's turn this around, right? Let's see. Indeed. Gee, I hope I'm doing it right. Well, we'll soon find out. In the meantime, this is what we look like at the beginning of fall. The last time we were out here, I said I was going to let these go completely to seed, and I did. This is how I keep those garlic chives going. Yep. Anyway, it's been great having y'all back with me in the garden. And I do hope that our experiment works out. 